This September is going to be a month in which the energy comes in slowly and then really expands during the month. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. And it's an energy that is deeply transformative, but not in all of the hard ways that we've had over these past previous months. This is the result of being able to emerge out of all of that hard work. My name is Prune Harris. I'm an energy expert and every month I write about the cosmic energy that's coming in as well as film this series of exercises so that you can really align your energy to the magnificence and all the challenges of the month ahead. Now, September has an amazing vibration to it. It's one of a really clear citrine colour, so that amazing soft yellow. It's an embraceive and transformative energy. I've written a blog about it. I want to keep these videos concentrating on what you can do. So I've written a blog all about the energy of this month, and that's at my website, pruneharris.com. So go there to read more. Here, right now, I want to help you and your energy systems connect into the vastness of this amazing citrine energy. It's going to especially come in, in and around the new moon of the 7th. So if you're watching this early on in the month and you're still feeling that really intense August energy, then that's fine. It will move, I promise you. So around the new moon, expect to begin to feel that real easing. This month asks you to really listen to your soul and for that soul wisdoms that you've been really clearing and connecting into these past few months to, to really expand out of your system. All right, let's work together to help your soul energy connect into your daily life, into your families, into your communities, into your work, into the quiet times when you're walking through the streets or through the woods. All right, you're going to pop your hands on your thighs and just relax. Let's take three nourishing breaths here together. And for a moment, let's tune into gratitude. Think about something right now that you're grateful for, that you feel thankful for, that you're glad is in your life. Maybe a person, maybe an experience, an animal, a tree. But feel your gratefulness. Think your gratefulness. You may even want to say out loud, thank you. It's an amazing way of activating the depth of your energy system to start flowing out through your whole body. Nice, all right. So because of the intensity of the last few months, there can be a lot of stuck energy, especially through August. So at first, we're going to work to actually change up the electromagnetic field a little bit in your body. So if there are places of stuckness, then that can flow easier. And the way we're going to do that is by working with the front of the hand and the back of the hand. They hold different polarities of energy. So literally, by flicking your hand over on places of your body, you can help that energy move. I'm gonna start with the crown. So either hand, place it on top of your head and you're just going to put the palm of the hand to the head and then the back of the hand. We're gonna do it a few times. Each place we come to, we're gonna do it a few times. And this is also deeply grounding. And at first, because of this big switch in energy that's happening, it may feel like the first week or even two of September is a little bit like ice skating. The ground beneath your feet feels a bit wobbly, but that's okay. You can begin to really deeply trust it, but this will help with that groundedness. All right, let's come to the third eye and do exactly the same there. It's gonna help clear away 
illusions, misconceptions, places of stuckness in your judgment or your opinion, help you feel like you're able to hold a broader perspective of things. And of course, that includes a broader perspective of yourself, of your potential. All right, let's come to the throat. We're going to do exactly the same there. That place of expression. Of balance, of equilibrium. Of being able to process emotions. And remember to keep breathing. If you can, keep breathing those really nourishing breaths. Let's go to the heart and do exactly the same there. You want that heart field able to really connect fully into the edges of your day. Sometimes we move through our day and it's very focused, it's very directed. We don't look at the periphery in our energetic fields. We don't connect or see in those amazing places. Often that's where the real magic, that's where the real gifts are. That's where you have time to stop and have that conversation with a cashier or someone that you are sitting by on the bus. That really touches you deeply. So inviting that heart field to be aware in those edge places, the wonderful, magical edge places. All right, so now we're actually gonna move a little bit further down the body and we're gonna start by working either side of the knee. So we have the kneecap. If you pop your heel of your hand on the very top of the kneecap and spread out your fingers, then where your first finger and your ring finger meet will be stomach 36, the 36 meridian, the 36 point on the stomach meridian and spleen nine and they're both powerful grounding points so you're going to massage them don't be surprised if especially the inner leg one is tender but you're just going to massage these points oh and it feels so great really drops down any tension in the body boosts the movement of your blood and your blood is the big communicator the big nourisher Okay, let's do that on the other side as well. And don't be surprised if one side feels sorer than the other, or maybe the spleen point on the inside of the leg feels sorer than the stomach point, or vice versa. All just communicating to you. Feels really great in my system. All right. Good. So let's relax. Breathing. It's quite powerful movement when we really work with the polarities like that. So just giving it a moment to settle. because we're gonna to begin to really spread that movement through the system by using those amazing lemniscates or figure eight patterns. Lovely. All right, so let's rub your hands together. And first of all, what all we're doing here is activating your electromagnetic fields in your hand. First of all, you're gonna bring it to your third eye, bridge of the nose up to the forehead, and you're gonna do big, figure eights around your eyes. 
This routine is all about your ability to connect out into your world in all of its magnificence and all of its challenges. Make those figure eights bigger now. So we're moving away from the skin. You can even, if it feels good to you, bring both hands up. If it's complex or doesn't feel natural to you, just work with one hand. Coming down to the throat, and you're gonna do exactly the same here. We're gonna start with that big, magnificent figure eight that really emanates right from the center of your throat. And again, you can do two hands, you can do one. One feels best to me here. Coming down now to the heart. And you're going to continue to work with those eights all the way through the legs. And visualizing, thinking, seeing, imagining, feeling that beneath your feet, whether you're standing, sitting or lying down, that beneath your feet you have the most amazing, amazing center of energy, your earth star. And you can visualize that your palms and your fingers are connecting right down into that earth star. And that you're figurating that energy, activating it in balance. Amazing way to source more energy into your body, more connection into your soul, more groundedness into the earth. Okay, and coming back, you're going to place one hand on your heart, one hand on your lower abdomen. Let's take three breaths here. This invites that energy that you've initiated the movement in to connect in as well. On my YouTube membership channel, then there's another video for this month that really looks at activating, balancing that beautiful fire energy that each of us has within us so that we can really deeply connect into the soul. Activate that core energy so it can light up our daily life as well as our inner world. Lovely. All right, well, I really hope, please do read the blog because there's a lot written in there about the energy of this month. And if you're not already part of the membership on YouTube, then come on over and let's work together with that beautiful exercises as well. All right. Thanks so much. Wishing you the most joyful September. Bye-bye.